Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to Vlogmas Day 11. That is not a spot. My dog just scratched me when she jumped up and I bent down and she went in my face. That's brilliant. Looks like a spot though. I wonder what foundation I've got on today. It's not looking too bad. But now I've got a scratch down my chin. It's quarter to one. I can't believe it's already quarter to one. I've not even had anything to eat today. All I've had is a small can of apple tizer. Just got this. I've been and got my buds done. She's put tape on. Do you know why they have the option to put a nice... Oh, God. All I can see is that when I'm talking. Um, Jodie could put a normal little round sticker on. Not sticker, plaster. No, she just put the gauze on and put loads of tape on, so now I'm going to wax my arm taking it off. I just started putting my shopping away and I realise I've not shown you and I keep showing you my shopping. Um wanted this for a few weeks actually and it's either not the or I get something else instead let's spray it I have the green one which I've shown you in a, de a video and I've got the red one let's smell it I don't know it has a mud wine scent to it but it's not Oh. oh yeah now I've stepped into it I quite like it but I wouldn't say it was mulled wine it's definitely got that scent to it so I've got that then they had an absolute ton of my two favourite ones and I only got two I could have got about 20 of each because they had a double pile of them they also had the larger versions of Very Berry and Zesty Lemon which I want but they were two ninety nine each, whereas this size is one twenty five, and I really want them. But I knew I'd already bought other stuff, so I'm still hoping that they'll still have them. But I had to get this because it's my favourite. I even bought wax melts in this fragrance, which you would have seen a vlog or two ago. And this is limited edition, so. I'm going to try and get a few more of these because I do absolutely love it. I don't like buying loads. Even if I had a lot of money, the reason why I don't buy loads is because people like me will go in and want a couple and they've been on because people are going in and buying 10 or 20 a time. It's becoming obsessive. Then one of the presents I'm giving someone this year is a wax burner or a wax melter. You have seen mine featured heavily in the last few vlogs. So I've picked up these, these were down to £2 and £3 for this fragrance. I've also got them some from my two favourite Etsy sellers, just one lot from each one because I'm not buying them a ton of it because they're the type of person that they're either going to open this and use it or put it in a cupboard and not use it so I'm not going to put a lot of money into it but I wanted to get them a few so they've got these and they've got two more coming. Then I bought the red accessory pack. This is probably not going to be enough, so I'm probably going to kick myself for only picking one up. But I think I'm going to go for like craft paper, red and white for wrapping this year. So I really need to get a second one of them. And I also got one of these as well. And it's a fabric one. And I'm wishing I picked up two, which I didn't. I also have this one that I bought online as well but I really want another one of them and another pack of that I got two 1.25 litre bottles of Diet Coke they're on offer for a pound some dentist sticks, two small Diet Cokes and the Christmas mugs are down to 125 I saw this about a month ago and this out of all the ones was the one that if I was going to get one I'd get this they had like ones with unicorns on they had a Santa one 
but this is the one I wanted the most. Surprise, surprise, I didn't want the unicorn one. And because it was 125, I got it. But I do have a Christmas mug or a cup. And it's this one, Mint Spies. And it, it is funny, it's amusing. I think I got that not last Christmas or Christmas before, and then I forgot I had it last Christmas and didn't use it. That is my Christmas mug, but I thought I'd get another one. And it's a large one as well, it's not a small cup, it's massive. And then I got this one for my dad. It would have been nice if it was the red design, but it'll do. I'm gonna, you can have it at the office. It's a Christmas decoration as well. Cell tape. I picked this up for my dad, but he worked at the office, and I picked these up for my dad to give to his brothers. I did pick up a card for my mum and a card for my dad, but I put them away. But hopefully, I'll show you at some point in the video. Let's do day 10 of the advent calendar. Hopefully, it'll be better than the one that I didn't have last night because I don't like. I don't like coffee. I don't even know where last night is. It's there. I've closed it in shame. And there's number 10. I've not eaten today. So I really want That's nice. Alpine praline. Hazelnut praline. Refined milk chocolate. I think it's hard for already. Let's have a look. There you go. What other paints? Not had anything I love yet. Not had that. Don't want that. Don't want it, but I've not had it. Have I had that? having that now I don't know if I've had that I've had that I've had that oh god I wish I was having this thing. right I'm back in the kitchen Um, it's 20 past 1 all I've had to eat is a chocolate I'm going to go out at 2 so in the next 40 minutes I'm going to do some housework I've just let um, my wax melt. I'm still on the same one. It's still smelling amazing. I highly recommend Queen of Tarts if you're looking for some wax melts. I nearly said candles. I don't think they do candles. So I'm going to be mopping with this bad boy as well. I'm going to hoover. Got my Christmas scourers. I need to open these otherwise I won't get used. And I'm just about to try. Even though I've got like two multi-surface cleaners on the go oh i highly recommend this 90p and it's marks and spencers and it's fantastic highly recommend it. it's my favorite one to use at the moment been trying to use this up for ages and there's still loads left you can see where it is but because i always have worlds on the go like i had this one on the go and i tipped out what was left but what's left what's in it now is what was left in and now that's diluted sephora i think it's winter morning so I'm going to get on with some cleaning, then I'm going to go out, and I'm going to go to... Do I need to go to Tesco? Do I actually really need to go to Tesco? I don't think I do, so I think I'm just going to go over to Aldi. They had Christmas wreaths the other day, and watch me go and there not be any. So I'm going to go to Aldi and pick a couple of things up, and I want to go to B&M. But first, cleaning time, and I'm not filming it, sorry. You know how I said I weren't coming to Tesco? Keep seeing that. Well, I'm at Tesco because I've got a prescription I want to collect and I totally forgot. Said prescription. I don't even mind showing you what I'm on. And I want some cash. Because if I got cash, I know I won't spend too much. So I'm gonna get more cash out because oh, I can't stop seeing that. Thanks, Cleo. Anyway, I forgot something that I wanted to bring with me and I realised when I was like at the roundabout and I could have gone all the way around the roundabout and gone back home. Just couldn't be bothered.
left my prescription at Tesco and then left. I might have a walk around when I get back but I'm at Aldi now and I'm going to see what I can get in Aldi. I've not had out to eat today other than that chocolate so maybe something to eat might be an idea. They do have like a sandwich se section but I've not seen anything that I like when I've been in. But um, I'm going to get a sandwich and then I'm going to... <sighs> I'm not going to get a sandwich, I'm going to get some shopping, then I'm going to go to b and I'm back at Tesco, back at Tesco and I'm sweating, I've not eaten all day, picked something, I've picked up a chicken, sweet and sweet chilli chicken pasta thing majig from Aldi, I'm running out of money, like I've got about £5 left in cash, I spent so much money today, I spent like £26 at Asda, £20 in Aldi, £20 in B&M, no Tesco. Getting in my car for the hundredth time today. I know I haven't been in the car a hundred times, but at least I'm burning calories because I've not eaten. Right, I've left, I'm going to go and see my dad. My back's killing me. I also picked up some turkey foil because it always gets forgotten, then they run out and then we're having to use normal foil and doubling it up not and it's never big enough so I thought oh, I'm gonna get one I'm also thinking of getting one of the disposable throwaway trays apparently you can get them in Aldi there's 225 in there so I'm gonna see how much they are in Aldi and if I can't see any in Aldi because I've not seen any so far I'll just buy one from there it says washing it up I'm gonna show you what I got from Aldi, I've got some in the fridge already from the other day, it's really really nice, it's not a massive packet but it is so good, I like to get this anyway, I always get it if I can but it's normally really expensive but I think this is £1.15 so they don't have the type of yoghurts that I like so I thought I'd just try this, I, they don't even like have Aldi's own version of what I normally get so I just thought I'd try and see what I think of it these were a pound, you can normally get them a pound anywhere. I like to have them when I'm driving or when I'm going to go in a shop because it kind of half distracts me. I've had these several times, I really like them. This is Aldi's version of that. I've had that today. Um, this is 55p, this is pound twenty. This is an 8.5 out of 10, that's a 10. If I'm going to get one, and they've got some of these in the chill section i will get this i had this hours earlier because i was at asda and i've not eaten all day but that is nice what have i shown you have i shown you the chicken if not here's the chicken i got two feed packs of a day i've run out but my dad hasn't but i've got something else for today and tomorrow anyway but it's got a really long date on because it's only the 10th of today and then this is the reef i got i normally get them from the christmas market but i'm not going this year um, basically I'm not well enough my physical health horrendous so I spotted this on Friday and I thought if they've got one in today this is the only reason I actually went today but I did need chicken um, I thought I'd get one it is real I like them, I'm not so sure about them and I hate the ribbon like it would look nice if it was a red ribbon but that's what I got from Aldi the lighting in here is really bad but I'm going to show you what I got so I originally, I don't always get much makeup from B&M, a lot of the time the shades are way way too dark for me, but I have picked up the odd item here and there from there. So this is the powder that I used to use until about two, two to three years ago. It smells amazing, but I just found other cheap alternative ones that I used instead, and I was only saving one or two pounds. And now I currently use a rice powder, which is one of the best things I've ever discovered. But I spotted this for three ninety nine, which isn't much of a saving because I think it's only like five ninety nine full price, and it's in quite a light shade. It's called light and gay. I normally get porcelain, so I thought I'd try it. It might be slightly too dark, but we'll see. Then this is similar to one that I own by Max Factor. I've got one, and I've had it absolutely ages, and I've recently used it a few times because I thought, oh, I'll just use it because I haven't done it and I don't want it to go to waste and every time I've used it my skin has looked amazing so when I spotted this in light ivory which is almost my shade I think it's one shade darker than what I would pick it up if I was buying it from like boots or wherever 
but normally I do wear a shade darker or sometimes two shades darker. If I've tanned, I'll wear one three shades darker. But what I can do is I can shear it out down my neck so then you can't see that it's too dark. And that was $5.99 and Max Factor is like $12.99 for that similar foundation. Then I already have a weekly planner which never has much on it. And it's set out where it's square boxes, like four on the top three there and then the fourth one has notes. And I'm probably halfway through it and it's never have anything on it. It's like normally like just says go to the shop and do my to-do list because I do write a to-do list on a separate one because there's really enough room to do it. And I saw they had some, but they were really childish, for I think they were for children. And then I just spotted this, and now I wish I'd picked up another one to go towards a Christmas present, because I know someone who would like one of these. So if they've got any left in when I go, I'll get another one. But I think normally there's like half a year's worth on. Then if you would have watched what I got from Aldi on last Friday, so you would have seen it, on Saturday's vlog, day 8, I got a big box of these that were £4 and I spotted these in B&M and they're only a pound but it's super light so I think you get one of each biscuit but if you like making up a Christmas hamper for someone and you want like a small box of biscuits this would be ideal and these are actually nice because I think we had a box either last Christmas or the Christmas before but I think it was last Christmas and I think we actually had two of the boxes of them these are my favourite crisps so I picked up a five pack for a pound and I thought I'd picked up the milk chocolate version of these. Don't know how I got green mixed with blue because the milk chocolate are in a blue box. But my dad will eat these. These are one ninety nine, and I'm hoping to get some of the milk chocolate ones. I got Gary Scorn. I used to have these all the time. And I don't. And I, I do notice that I've not been taking them. They had the sachet ones which I've never had and I really like them. But because they weren't priced I didn't get them because I didn't want to pick them up and they'd be more than what I wanted to pay. I used to use this soap when I used to use soap. I don't use soap now, I use hand wash or body wash or shower gel. But my dad does. And when I cleaned his sink the other day, he had like the thinnest bit of one left. So I picked him up these. You get two in a box for a pound. But if I was going to buy a soap, this would be the one. It's really good for your skin. You can even wash your face with this. I'm not going to wash my face with it. But you can, it is very gentle. It's basically, I think it's glycerin from memory. But it is really good for you. It won't dry your skin out. And if you want something and you can't really afford to buy shower gels, but shower gels are really cheap anyway, this is really good. And like I said, I would probably use it on my face if I had to. I'm not going to lie. And for a pound. And then this stuff is amazing. I need to finish the one that I've got. I wish I'd remembered this morning when I was vacuuming, but if you've got a dog or children and your carpets don't smell good, put this on, and here's a tip, don't do it, don't vac it straight away, leave it a little while, leave it 20 minutes to an hour and it'll be amazing, and that is being it. I feel like I'm filming 9 million video clips today, so this is what I got from Tesco, I nearly forgot what Tesco was called then, I think I got a box of these last week, and we also have a box of Aldi's own version. They're a pound. Don't need any more now. They're also not in Asda, so I think they're probably going to be a pound everywhere. Bought a box of these last week. I may have accidentally eaten them all. And they're the Christmas ones, so... You know, I've had to replace them. I do want some more, because I do love them. I got the two shower gels of this last week, because it was two for 160. So I picked this up for 90 p in its bubble bath. And I've actually run out of bubble bath I don't think I have much left that I can actually put in the bath so I might have to get another one of them spotted this a couple of weeks ago actually for the first time and I've been meaning to get it ever since I still want to get the Ribena festive one and I didn't actually look in there and I didn't even look in Asda either but I need to get my hands on it but this sounds like it's going to be really nice as well and then because I forgot that I'm just <laughs> Having to film yet again the Christmas turkey foil because every year someone forgets to get it and then we have to use normal foil which isn't big enough and then you have to layer it in a weird way but I think I've finally shown all my shopping and I know I'm bored with this now. The lights from my kitchen haven't come on and the battery was the batteries were meant to last 60 days. I'm pretty sure they're meant to come on before now. 
I can't remember what time. It was either half past five or half past six. And it's quarter past six, so if it's half past five, then they're definitely not coming on. And the batteries need replacing and they didn't last 60 days. They've lasted about two weeks. So, I guess I'll find out. They shouldn't advertise them as lasting for 60 days. If they don't, so I'm making a cup of tea. I feel like I'm getting a sore throat. Hope I'm not. My doctor was full of something on Friday. So if I have caught something, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it takes three days. But I've only had a Monster Energy drink and a small bottle of Diet Coke since nine o'clock this morning. Oh, and the apple tizer. So I shouldn't really. But I'm gonna use my new Christmas mug. Cause why the hell would I have a Christmas mug and not use it? And then, even though I don't want to, because I just want to do nothing, because I don't feel well. Because I don't feel well. I want to just chill out and maybe cook my food. Even though I didn't have my lunch till four o'clock. But I've got a few things I need to do today. A, in case I get ill. And B, because I need to do this stuff. Also, Vlogmas Day 10 didn't go up because even though I uploaded it, I didn't schedule it and I was meant to schedule it before I went out this morning, but then I got behind and then when I came back earlier for the first time, I was meant to schedule it then. But my six o'clock bi-weekly vlog just gone up 15 minutes ago, so I'm going to put it up at 9pm so then there's a three hour gap. And then whatever I film today definitely needs to be scheduled before I go to bed because I'm not going to be hit in at 3 o'clock tomorrow. And my favourite tea bags from Evernest ran out, the red bush ones. And I can't go to Evernest. There's a few things I want from Evernest. I want like some Christmassy stuff. But I need to see like what the finances are this weekend. And also, spent way too much money today so I'm on a £20 budget for the rest of the week I have the predominant stuff that I'm gonna need I've got all the meat that we need I'm probably just likely gonna need some vegetables and maybe stuff for lunch I'm gonna make my dad's sandwich for the next two to three days just to cut down costs um, I'm gonna need Diet Coke Wednesday and Thursday I've got all the other water that I would need. I've got my milks for cereal. I've got my milks for, for teas. I've got loads of fruit juices. I've got, I just brought one down. Did I not bring it down? Oh yeah, put it there. I've got my new, what is it called? Crushed apple and cinnamon. I've got this, which, oh my God, I've been abusing. Pomegranate and elderflower. I've got my favorite apple and pear. If that ran out, it's only a pound. I've got the peach one, I've got Asda's version, which is almost run out, I've got my Ribena, got lots of bottled water, so I've given myself a £20 budget, which is plenty, and I also have chicken for a sandwich tomorrow, or I can make chicken and pasta or whatever, so I don't even need to go to the shop tomorrow, which is good. There's loads of carrots and potatoes. And what I'm making tonight is for two days. So I'm gonna film tomorrow's Tuesday video now. I just don't feel very well. It's been a little while since I last filmed. I think the last thing I showed was my evening meal that I cooked from scratch. I managed to film the video that I wanted to film for tomorrow, but I've not checked the footage, I've not seen if the lighting's okay, I've not edited, I've not done anything. I've not even got today's vlog up. I realised at quarter past six I hadn't, and then I was going to get up at nine, and now it's like 
going up for half past 11 so I want to try and get it up before midnight or by midnight and I want to edit this video before I go to bed as well and upload it and then when I get up schedule it but I need to edit tomorrow's video as well <laughs> wish me luck so because I filmed a lot today and because I believe this video is going to be long I'm going to end this vlog here so thank you for watching if you're new to my channel please subscribe and don't forget to click the bell notification button then you'll get an alert every time i upload a video i should hopefully be back tomorrow for, for vlogmas day 12 bye everyone